Hi guys, so this is my first review. Um, I got in touch with Banana Prosthetics and decided that it'd be pretty cool to do reviews for prosthetics for trans guys like myself. Um, I do have the Short Stroker S1 and the Hard Packer H1, or HP1, sorry, um, that I'm going to review. I guess I will do the short stroker first you will be seeing male genitalia just saying for anyone who gets triggered um, so this is the small the short stroker S1 um, it's got some ridges on the inside I don't know if you can see that I'll turn that side out um, but it does have ridges on the inside this is actually not very easy to do um, versus other strokers that are out there. Um, but as far as like realistically, it's got a lot of great detail. Um, it fits nicely in the hand. I'm about 5'7", so if that gives you any general idea. Um, the suction on it is pretty good. I mean, it goes in and then you can feel all the ridges coming back out. Um, the only thing that I had a problem with was trying to use it as a stroker was that there is this this slight dent on this side that you can see there. It's softer on this side than it is on the other side for some reason. Um, I'm not quite sure why. Um, it doesn't... Yeah, it does feel thin on the inside also. Um, but that's basically where the ridges start on the inside. Um, it's got some pretty good detail. I mean, you can see basically... I mean, it's got veins, it's got ridges, all that fun stuff. Um, I don't remember if this would, you can get painted or not, but with either one of them, I didn't choose to get paint. Um, I guess I just didn't really need the paint, maybe. But, I mean, it's got the urethra, you know, like a little divot there. The only thing that I had a problem with was that... I had to roll it on myself to get it on, and rolling it was not very easy. Um, the hole is a little small. It doesn't allow you to move freely within it back and forth. Um, even with lube, it it's like once it's there, it's there. Um, you can't really move it because you know you don't have much, and it doesn't. It's not as stiff as some. Um, but I did try to wear this as like a, a mini packer. And that actually worked out pretty well. Um, you know, you just you roll it on, you slip it on, and it's there. I mean, it was hardly noticeable in like pants or anything like that, which is kind of nice because a lot of packers that I have, I think I have two or three um not being used to a bulge it looks like a lot it looks like a lot um even in the um jockstrap that i have it still looks like a lot for a packer so this was kind of nice and it just sits there and it doesn't go anywhere like it doesn't go anywhere at all um so it was really nice to just be able to wear that. Um, I didn't wear it very long because I'm still getting used to the whole Packer thing. It, you know, the shifting and moving and everything. Um, the other that I have is here. Um, I should have said female genitalia as well. I do apologize. Um, anyway, as a Packer, this is kind of nice. If you are totally into like spontaneous you know stuff it's great for that um although i have not had the privilege of using it for that um with another person it's nice i mean it, it still flexes it twists it bends and I first look at this and i was thinking man that is that is very like because i'm used to like harnesses being back here at the base so to have this on it actually sits more like this kind of against you 
So, but at the same time, it is kind of up like this, which is kind of nice because when you have it on though, it it just it sits straight. So it's kind of it's kind of weird to look at, but functionally, it actually works very well in a harness. Um, I've tried it with um, the harnesses. They're like jog straps, but they're like a, a, a strap around your waist and then go around the back of your thighs um, and then up toward the 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 o-ring um, and then I also have um, a rodeo boxer harness that has an o-ring in it um, those are nice but they're kind of tight on me so it's not that great but the the actual harness that I have it's actually really nice because it's just simple straps and I can wear it with or without underwear um, but the only thing is, you, you can't bend it down like this. I mean, you can bend it down like this, but that all of that against your body is massive, and then this is going to want to pop out. So I've noticed that if I can wear it like this inside my pants and have this basically like up where my waistband is, kind of behind my pocket, when my phone's in my pocket, you can't see this. You can't see this at all. Um, and then as far as like sensation wise, this is these are solid. I didn't get any moving testicles or anything like that. Um, but it does have the vagina for sensation. Um, it is nice having a sensation there versus just a flat back of a harness or a suction cup base or even a flat base. It's kind of nice because for most trans guys, you, you're never going to be inside this. Um, personally, I can't. Or at least I didn't, you know, in the past. Um, but this is kind of nice. The only problem that I had with it is that the hole is very small. Um, like I said, I'm about 5'7", so my fingers, I'm skinny, like 120 pounds. Um, but the hole is kind of small, so I basically had to squeeze here and put myself against it to suck myself into it, um, which it works. But, like, when you're pumping or something, it just swells the end of it up. Um, and it doesn't get stuck or anything because you can just squeeze yourself back out of it or pull out of it or whatever. But then you have, like, this this little donut around the end of your, your stuff. Um, it is nice if you tried to use this as a masturbation device. Um because it does work well if you're if you're sitting there going like this or even like this I mean it's just however you decide to move it work it you could grind on this if you chose to um, just put lube on it grind on it that's really nice too um, as far as this part though this does have very nice detail I don't know if you can try to get it to where it focuses um, it does have nice detail there are a lot of wrinkles and ridges down here um, at first it was like, that's kind of weird to look at because I'm not used to seeing balls with that much detail on a prosthetic or any type of device for, you know, sex. Um, but there are like these gland type deals going on here, which is nice for to look at. Um, it does make it seem a lot more real. Obviously guys don't really have glands that look like this um, they are a little harder to clean if anything gets dried up in there or lint hair things like that um, but it's not extremely hard like I used wet wipes to clean it off to while I go to get all the, the dust and whatnot off of it um, the size of the head is nice um, it does have a nice I'd say a nice feel to it but it's like um, the rigidness of it is kind of nice. I'll say that. Um, it is fulfilling. Like, if you'd like that full filling or like a, a wider shaft, that's not too bad. I don't remember what size this is. I think it's like a five and a half, maybe. Um, so, it's really not that bad. I enjoy it. I cannot wait to be able to use it as a pack and play like it's supposed to be um i guess we'll find out but um thank you guys for watching 
Um, maybe I'll be making some more videos. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see. Thanks, guys. I'm Shane, by the way. Have a great day.